Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here with Ted Tokunaga from Angelo Pietro. Hello, Ted. Hi. And um, we're here because we um, are looking at their new menu. So in the last segment, we tasted two of their new items, and then we have two more items here. Now, what are these? So this is the Ortolano Farfalle, basically a garden garden pasta, you know, tossed in tomato sauce. Ooh, okay, like vegetarian. Yeah. This is geared towards a vegetarian. Yeah. I see tomatoes and tomatoes, bell peppers. Tomatoes, zucchinis, bell peppers, oh, onions. Okay. Yeah. And your what's basic on the top? garden garden vegetables. It's yeah. like a salad. In a we sauce. went some. Yeah, we have some with arugula on it. So you know. Hmm. Mm. Nice, nice um, flavor of the bell pepper in the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of tangy. Not, not sour. Just kind of tangy. Just tangy. Good. Yeah. Cool. Good. And then what is this? And this one right here is a, a salmon with iringi mushrooms in a wasabi cream sauce. What are Iringi mushrooms. Iringi mushrooms are like uh, like ali'i oyster mushrooms. Really? Yeah. Uh, they're they're meatier, thicker mushrooms. And why is it a wasabi sauce? Because of the fish inside, or? Oh, you mean the the wasabi sauce? Yeah. Uh, just something we want to try. We we currently put on a seafood wasabi pasta, and that was so popular that you know I requested you know maybe we should put another pasta on with wasabi sauce. Oh, okay. And this is what they came back with. Hmm. How's that? That's. Does That's it gel? My chin. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, this one kind of gels together with the cream sauce. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's good with because the the fish and stuff is kind of like like sashimi and wasabi. Yeah, kind of sort of. Mm -hmm. No, um, how do you guys come up with these new menus? Uh, these new menus come from Japan. The, oh. the corporate chef from um, Pietro in Japan. He'll bring down these new recipes every six months. Yeah, and, and so he'll spend a couple of days with me working on them, and I give my input, and you know we kind of work with the ingredients and stuff like that. And um, how do you know, like, I think you were, you were saying something about the, the menu comes over in Japanese? Oh yeah, I, I, get, I get the menu faxed to me, in, all in Japanese. And, and my general manager, since he speaks fluent Japanese, he'll translate most of the <laughs> items and, and I'll have to figure out, you know, there, beforehand what, you know, what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, wow. it, it's kind of, yeah, it's a lot of work in progress when the chef comes down, so. Oh, yeah. and um, is there a method to the madness? Because I noticed like this one has bow tie pasta, this is spaghetti, there's penne. Yeah, we, and we try to pair the pasta with the kind of sauce that it would go with. So, you know, like for instance, the farfalle pasta, you'd want it with mm -hmm. a tomato sauce because the, the tomato sauce will kind of, you know, stick to the pasta better mm -hmm. than if you would have it with the, with the shell pasta. So, yeah. Um, but how do you know? I mean, like. Oh, it's just a lot of trial and error. Really? Like in the back of the kitchen, you know, I see a lot of orders you know with instead of regular pasta they want you know penne and stuff like that and, and after time you see what works and what doesn't you know and uh, are there any hard and fast rules like creamy sauces should go with uh spaghetti like the wasabi cream or actually cream sauce you can anything, actually yeah. yeah you can actually pair it with anything pretty much but but for stuff like that seashell pasta you probably want to go with a lighter you know a lighter sauce so okay yeah. what about your natto pasta our natto pasta <laughs> oh, i've seen it with everything i've i've seen natto with penne i've seen natto with regular spaghetti i've seen natto with farfalle pasta in fact you know that sounds kind of kind of odd but <laughs> yeah I, i've seen <laughs> i've seen it all i've seen sauces mixed i've seen everything so you know what's the weirdest combination you've ever seen i've seen i i've seen somebody order a pasta with every single sauce in it what? shoyu cream tomato you know, with a little bit of garlic oil inside. I've oh seen, God. I've seen, I've seen it all. Yeah. And you guys can do that. You yeah, we, 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 we try to please what the customer wants. So, you know, I, I've <laughs> seen, I've seen natto with tomato sauce, in fact. So, okay. you know. I, I eat <laughs> natto, but I, I don't eat natto with tomato sauce. From, I just, from, from what I heard, I it's know. pretty good. It's, you, from what I heard from the customer, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I've seen natto on pizza, in fact. Before. I think I've seen natto on pizza. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've seen natto on a lot yeah. of different yeah, things. Yeah, it's not, it has too good going in the oven, but, you know. They liked it, so that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah. So, do you guys serve natto pizza? Is it? Uh, no, it's not on the menu. Oh. It was it was a special request. Yeah. Just I've checking. seen it like twice in my ten years here. So, <laughs> yeah. And um, is is there like, do you guys ever look at an order and, and think like, oh, why did that person order that pasta with that sauce? Are you nuts? Uh, for the most part, no. You know, like I said, you know, we we try to cater to the customer. So you know, okay. if if that's you know if that's what they want, then and then you know we don't, yeah, we, we try to please the customer. <laughs> so so you won't be mocking I mean, me back there. Yeah, we don't we don't mock we don't mock at all. But <laughs> but there 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 are times we scratch our head and you know kind of look at each other like, you know what's going on. But you know for the most part, you can mix and match anything here. So, uh, I myself and a lot of the cooks we we've seen it all. So 
Yeah. Actually, what what do you and the cooks like to eat? Like, what's your favorite combination? Like right now, personally, my favorite is this. I've I've eaten this for the past week. The, the gorgonzola all, all, all bacon days, and yeah, so seven days in a row. I've eaten that Ooh. for lunch. So, I mean, <laughs> that's that's the one I'm I'm digging right now. Is that one? I probably would too. If I if I worked here, I would probably eat that almost <laughs> every day. Yeah, sometimes twice, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. I take one. I don't know if I'll do that. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe you could eat it for breakfast too. Oh uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't wake up that early, so <laughs> yeah. Do you eat it as is or do you Oh I eat it as is. No, I, I for for the most part I eat it as is. Yeah. I don't like the new menu items I feel that they're paired pretty good, so I don't add yeah. When I'm making my own food I don't add anything to it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so you've been with Pietro for like over ten years, right? Yeah, ten, maybe eleven. Ooh. Yeah. Man, some people don't even stay married that long. That's, that's, that's a long time. I think that's harder though than yeah. working. At a, yeah, it from is. What I heard, I think know, so. Being married is is a lot harder than working at a job. And the pasta doesn't talk back to you. Yeah, but. that's true. <laughs> so over time, what's like the the top three dishes that people um, order here? Yeah, what's uh, the favorites? I would say eight pan spicy ground beef. That's oh yeah, pretty much. I would say that and the raw potato salad, Pietro is known for. Oh, yeah. Raw yeah. potato salad. You ask anybody Pietro, it'll be raw potato salad, eight pan spicy ground beef. Those, those are the top two. They by far also everything, maybe three to one probably. So, yeah. Pietro is known for raw potato salad and dressings and eight pan spicy ground beef. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your dressings because you guys sell it at Long's too, yeah? Right. Yeah, we sell it all, yeah, all over. All over. Long's, Marakai, Don Quixote. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Yeah. And we sell them here too. You can always come down here and pick them up. So, what's the most popular dressing? Uh, I would say shoyu probably. Hmm. Either shoyu or sesame miso Ooh. would probably be the the top two. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I'm the one that bought a lot of sesame miso. Oh no, you guys have a ume one we too, a, right? We, yeah, we have a ume and a ginger, mm. but those two you gotta kind of have a taste for them. So, yeah, but they're both good. I mean, but I say by far shoyu and miso. Now, can you? Okay, this is a weird question, but I know because you're. Your um, dressings are kind of unusual. Is it something that you could put on the pasta? Oh yeah, you can even really. Yeah, you could toss it with pasta. You can use it to marinate meat, seafood. Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. Good yeah. to know. Is there like a Pietro recipe book somewhere? Or? As far as marinating meats and poultry <laughs> and stuff? No, not not really. But but <laughs> I've had family members. Yeah, I've had family members marinate chicken and stuff like that in our dressing. So and they say it come all good. So you know. <laughs> Oh, very good. Okay, so um, if we want to check out the new menu items, just come down to Pietro's. You guys are open every day? Every day from 11 in the morning till 10 on the weekdays and 10.30 um, on Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, and you guys are on the web, right? Yes, you are. AngeloPietro.com. And not on Facebook yet, but not you're on, Facebook, on, but on Twitter, Twitter yeah. Pietro Hawaii. Yeah. Now, are you the Twitter guy? Or? No, I'm not. I'm not, not at all? Twitter. You don't no. even? No, I... No, I don't go on. Twitter. You, you don't want to. You don't want to be mostly on Facebook, ironically. <laughs> we don't have a Facebook. You don't have a <laughs> yeah, but I'm always on Facebook more. For, I would, yeah. <laughs> so can people friend you and get recipes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can can I friend you and get recipes? Oh, yeah, of course, sure. Yeah, <laughs> you try that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna search for Ted Tokunaga. <laughs> Click this link, Ted Tokunaga, <laughs> and go search for him and and see if you can get a recipe out of him. Actually, <laughs> what? See how many new friend requests Yeah, let's check that out. <laughs> One of my friends is a pastry chef, and when I first met him on Twitter, I was like, ooh, I heard you have a good recipe for, I forget, some kind of cake. And he goes, well, what kind of cake do you want? And he's like listing all the different combinations, and I'm like, I just want... A, a simple... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he has like a whole file cabinet full of recipes. Well, he's been there for a while then, huh? <laughs> He's been at it for a while, huh? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Whatever. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're gonna get back to chowing down the pasta. Um, if you want to try these pastas, check them out and also follow them on Twitter so you can get to see more of their new dishes. All right.